Hello. I am the Dishamon Pal. Or just Dishamon Pal. Or just Dish. But um, I just wanted to take a little bit here and um, do a channel update, which is kind of unusual. Because uh, this is the first time I think I've ever done something like this. I believe. But anyway, um, I just wanted to sit down and take some time here to discuss um, some stuff with the with my YouTube channel and whatnot, and about the go-ons and what have you. Um, uh, I made I made a little list here, some bullet points to keep me on track here uh, about things. Um, so in the beginning with this channel, uh, it was strictly Mugen and. Um, the all oh, none of you who probably watches the channel who doesn't know about New Mugen, no, no offense. Um, it, you know, it's just a, a little software that you can use to uh, create uh, stuff. It can be much more used for than um, fighting games, but you don't see a whole whole lot of that happening. So it's mostly guaranteed it's going to be fighting stuff. Um, as of late, you know, past year or so, you notice that I've been doing nothing but video game stuff and whatnot. Um, but no Mugen stuff. Um, it's really, really a matter of just, um, you know, with things going, you know, between work, family, relationship, um, responsibilities, washing the car, what have you. Uh, you know, just time just does not allow for a lot of stuff. And Mugen has really taken a back burner, more so since the laptop I'm using right now is actually something I'm borrowing. Until maybe someday, five years down the line, I could build a computer with outdated technology. But for the time being, you know, this is not my laptop. Um, I really don't want to overfill it with Mugen stuff. So, that's one of the major things about why there's not Mugen stuff. I'm not saying Mugen is out of the question anymore. Um, in fact, I've actually been dabbling here and there on creating Mugen stuff. Um, there is one particular thing I would like to do. Um, and have released next year. Just to be goofy, but I can't guarantee yet. But... And there's also another silly project I've been working on. But like I said, these Mugen stuff has been very, very minimal work done on them. So don't expect a whole lot of stuff from Mugen, if any. Just a heads up. But that's the uh, that's the uh, thing with Mugen on this channel. It's not, it's not out of the question by any means. It's just, it's not gonna have, like you're not gonna see videos on it anytime soon at the very least you might see some stuff come from me with the releases that i've been working on here and there but in terms of moving videos that's not really gonna happen until i get my very own computer or laptop or what have you so that's that and you know what i'll be silly and actually check this off the list and by that i mean just a txt file because i'm silly Which will lead to... Sorry for any of clicking. Which will lead to playthroughs. Um, so, originally, what I had planned is I would love to have a video uploaded of playthroughs every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But, once again, time and full job, full-time job, and such, it, that doesn't allow it. So, I've just been doing playthroughs when I can. Really, in my free, free spare time, if that makes sense. Um, I had a whole list plan of playthroughs, but I kind of threw it out the window, and now I'm just playing what have you. But there are uh, some that I've already recorded, so those are going according to plan. Um, I do a lot of ums. I'm, I don't apologize about the ums, but that's just me. That I am trying to stop that because. Um, so playthroughs are a major thing I'm going through forward on with this play um with this play uh with this channel. Cause with playthroughs it makes it 
I know it's kind of sad to say, but it gives me some motivation to play some games. Because um, nowadays it's just like, okay, I have to sit down and play something. I love video games. I do. It's just... When growing up, you realize how much you love doing nothing. And how much you relish in doing nothing. And it's like the most amazing feeling, but it is a bad feeling to do because you want to be productive, but at the same time you're like, man, I can just do nothing and it is great. But yeah, playthroughs are the major source of things that's going to be on this YouTube channel from now on. So that's a thing. But of course, you know, there's going to be other things here and there, uh, which I'm going to talk about later on in this, in this uh, little bit video here. Uh, but... Going on with playthroughs, uh, that leads us to the next thing I want to discuss is, um, I had some plans for some PS3 games, but unfortunately my PlayStation 3 of, god, uh, has it been 9, 10 years? I don't even know if PS3 is 10 years old. It's very old. It's the original fat, was it 80 gigs, I believe? 80 gig, the fat PS3 model? And it's finally shown its age and no longer reads discs whatsoever. So, unfortunately, I can either try to hunt down the piece that's missing to it, or not missing, that uh, needs to be fixed, or sometime down the road, I'm just going to go ahead and just get the newer version of the PS3, which is more than likely what I'm going to do. So, unfortunately, all the plans I had with any PS3 game discs is on the back burner and that includes some ps1 games unfortunately uh now the good thing is though digital games are way okay are still good to go they're still good to go so i'm basically i'm turning this ps3 into a digital video game thing machine so there's a couple of play there's one playthrough i'm actually recording right now that is a digital game from japan because i'm silly so, I'll go ahead and say I had plans to do Final Fantasy XIII, the original Jack and Daxter, which I could still do on the PS2, I guess, but I would just have to find a copy. But, yeah, like, I had I had the plans of Final Fantasy XIII, Jack and Daxter, and my buddy of mine actually got me really into actually sitting down and trying Streets of Rage, which I do have the Sonic collections, but unfortunately, again, the PS3 not working that kind of puts that on the back burner for right now so that's out of the question for the moment but hey there's still digital titles that i have that i still want to go through so there's that so moving on um i want to talk about something that oh my god i don't know how many years it is now but um uh, me and my good buddy Homer, or uh, Evil Homer, uh, or you might know as a uh, TTTTSD, or something like that. <laughs> something like that. Uh, we created a YouTube channel, a playthrough channel together, called Extra Donuts, which I do have a linked as one of the featured, play featured channels on the main page, or this YouTube page. Um, as of right now, me and Homer has kind of agreed that that channel is probably good as dead um uh, but that is not out of the question of me and him because he even brought it up when we were last talking about it. he would love to you know commentate over a playthrough if i you know if i ever do one that he would like to join in if given the time and because we're both pretty busy guys too which is another factor of why extra donuts is pretty much dead at this point and that's nobody's fault it's not my fault it's not his fault you know just life happens and we can't just get together and do it and then when we do want to get together we're just basically gonna go okay we're either gonna upload it on this channel or if he wants to do something with me we're gonna upload it over on his channel so extra donuts is pretty much dead but i do highly 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 recommend checking out our playthroughs on there uh all the ones we've done on there are complete other than wario land unfortunately but please check out the wario land ones too because we have the original Resident Evil, we have Castlevania, we have Rondo of Blood, and I'm forgetting something, I'm sure. Well, shoot. 
What was it? Let, you know what? I'm gonna take a quick look here. Was that the only one? No, I'm pretty sure that was something else. No, that was it. Yeah. So it was Wario Land 3, which is incomplete. Resident Evil Director's Cut, which is complete. The, uh, the NES Castlevania, which is complete. And then Castlevania Rondo of Blood, which is also complete. Out of all those, uh, I do recommend Rondo of Blood. Go watch that. Homer does a fantastic job with the editing. A fantastic job commentary. I'm, I'm really just in it for the ride, truth be told. That was all him. Uh, very, very good job by him. Uh, Castlevania is just me fumbling around. And then Resident Evil Director's Cut, I think, was a fun time. But it's... It's got, it's got its highlight moments. There are some funny moments. And then Wario Land 3 is Wario Land 3. Plus, Wario Land 3 has some fantastic uh, video uh, um, picture icons, preview images, whatever you want to call it, done by Homer himself, which is very hilarious. But yeah, um, extra donuts. I'm not going to say it's impossible that it might make a return. But it's very unlikely. So, apologies to all extra donut enthusiasts. But there's still playthroughs to watch there if you haven't checked it out. And I do really, really, really recommend the Rondo of Blood one. Which is, I think, the best one on that channel. Good job, Homer. Okay. What Now, speaking of extra donuts, that will lead on to some unfinished business on this channel itself. Uh... Quite, uh, it's actually been about three years now, I believe. About the same time when Extra Donuts got started, I believe. Um, I started a Dragon Evolutions commentary playthrough, story playthrough, with not only Homer, but with Arpa, who you might know on here as Chainsaw Dentist, if he's still using that name. Um, that's something I really, really, really do would like to finish, because I think that. It might, have, it might have started a little slow, but then it really picked up. And I really, really do want to complete that. However, I don't want to complete it without Homer and without Arpa. So it's just a matter of finding time for the three of us to get together. So if you two are listening to this, let's let's try to do a play date if we can. <laughs> I know it's going to be really difficult, but that is something that I do want to sit down with the guys and complete because Dragon Ball Evolutions is so amazing. <laughs> it's great. Um, so that is something I'm committed to trying to do. I'm going to get with them, try to get it done. Don't expect it anytime soon, but expect it in the future. Please. Now speaking of um, co-commentating and what have you, Look at me segwaying perfectly. You know, perfectly. Um, there's uh, Game Center BS. Um, now, that's not my thing. That is um, Kamikaze and Homer's th um, little video show that I've guest starred. Or, well, not really guest starred. I kind of just bumbled my way into. Uh, fantastic. I recommend that everybody who happens to watch this video to check out Game Center BS. Those guys are great. Um, basically, it's a parody of the... Uh, oh, what's the name of that Japanese show? But basically, this guy who goes and plays these games, older games, tries to beat them and whatnot, and they, you know, it varies from you know, game to game how difficult that could be. Basically, what they do is they play really either really, really bad games or really, really hard games. Like, they can be good games, but they're just super difficult. And sometimes, you know, there's a game in there, the game or two, that sneaks in there that's like, why is this game bad? Why'd you make us play this? This is a good game. Um, they played over 400 games. Unfortunately, not all of them are on video. Or you can't watch the full thing. Like, some are just highlights only, unfortunately. As far as I know. Um, I'll link... I'll link to, uh, I'll link a, I'll link a link. I'll put a link in the description for all these channels I'm mentioning in the info thing. I'm sure this is proper English. Very sure. But Game Center BS, fantastic YouTube show. Those guys deserve a lot more views. Uh, they just ended their recent season, I do believe. So it's going to be a little bit before 
they start another season. I'm pretty sure there are. I don't think it's in any of it. Um, they, they're they usually on Smash Cast, Hitbox. I still call it Hitbox. Um, Tame streams every other... Whenever he does the season, he does it every other Wednesday. And um, it's great. Good stuff. Um, and you can actually... I'll put a link to it, too. You can actually recommend games for them to play. To try and uh, play when watch you have you. And there's a list updated by yours truly, <laughs> self check, self plug, that uh, tries to keep up to date of all the games they have played, with varying degrees of success. So Game Center BS, go check it out, please. Now going on from their show special thing is to my little thing project that I started, kind of paused at the moment, but I am going to pick up on it. And I'm sorry for that really high pitched little bit there for some reason but anyway uh that was my telephone going off i do apologize there but this is like a v-law thing so interruptions is all right it's okay to, it's okay it's it's just okay it's just the mrs uh lady gray as she calls herself just text me she's at her work right now but um going back to what i was saying um, I've started a little thing, kind of paused it at the moment, but I'm going to get back to it. It's called Dish Talks. Um, started it around when Free Comic Book Day was a thing, and, um, uh, went through all my the comic books that I got for Free Comic Book Day, and then I've done only one movie review, Monty Python and Holy Grail. Good movie. Recommend it. Uh, I'm going to get back to that. Dish Talks, um, just talking about it a little bit. Is really just me sitting down doing like what I'm doing right now and just talking about the things, uh, the subject of the video in question. Um, and, you know, I have some comic books stacked up. I don't mind going through them. Uh, I have a lot of movies and TV shows to go through. I still want to do with Dish Talks. And you know, I'm all up for anybody who wants to guest star or guest star who wants to come in. Yeah, is a guest star on my show, why don't you? Ho, ho, ho. Man, I don't, I don't sound like a jerk at all, do I? No, but uh, if anybody is ever wanting to join in on a particular subject, I'm more than welcome to it. And that, I, I think that'd be a good good old good old time, you know? yee But that just talks. Uh, that's not stopped. Well, it stopped a little bit. I, but it is it's just the thing that I plan on continuing onward. Now, um, something I've always, well not always, but for a few years now I've wanted to do is, it's similar to Dish Talks, but it's its own separate thing that I'm going to be doing. And um, it's going to start in September, I, will, I won't deny it right now, it's going to start in September, which will follow up into the next topic I'm going to talk about, but this project is... Um, Scooby-Doo show thingy. I haven't thought of a clever name, or probably not even going to think of a clever name. But Scooby-Doo has always been a cartoon that I've always watched growing up. Um, you know, I don't obsess. I'm not, I'm not obsessed over Scooby-Doo, and I'm probably not even, like, a die-hard fan of Scooby-Doo. But Scooby-Doo is a really, really neat show. I do like it. I like many of its incarnations. Um, I have not seen every single thing of Scooby-Doo as of this video. Uh, with this Scooby-Doo show, I want to go through go through it all. I want to watch from the beginning to the newest thing with Scooby-Doo. And each particular episode will be its own discussion thing that I'll have. Movies and all. And that's a project I'm going to try to start next month. Well, I'm not going to try. I am going to start next month. I'm making a goal. I am starting this next month. No questions asked. So, Scooby-Doo. Clever title here. We'll start next month. Because that's when the original Scooby-Doo era was in September. So, expect that. Which will lead us to the next topic. Um, on Twitter, I said that I wanted to do a goal. And with that goal, I want to try to upload one video for every day in the month of September. I've tried this in the past with, um, in October with spooky video games. 
Just like how Super Gaming Bros does from time to time on their channel, which I do recommend. Those guys are great. Uh, I, you know, I, I have a, I have a little. I'm not gonna lie. I have a little fault with their Resident Evil Zero playthrough, which has kind of like pushed me into doing mine. But that's just me personally. Everything, you know, everything else. Those guys are great. Still, those guys are wonderful people. Go, go watch them too. But yeah, September's goal is I'm gonna try to upload a video every day in the month of September. Now, not every one of those videos is gonna be a playthrough. Not every one of those, you know, it's gonna it's gonna vary what those videos are. It could be something just stupid. It, it it's a challenge, okay? And I'm up for the challenge. So I guess that's really about it for that. And then for the last piece, which is nothing really major. I am going to go to Southeast Game Exchange, which is uh, about a few hours away from here, where I live, in South Carolina, uh, where people get together, buy, sell, trade video games, and this is something that's come up, and I happen to get this day off, which is a Saturday, kind of funny like that, so I'm going to try to attend this, well, I, I'm going to go to attend this event, I'm going to bring a couple of things with me, see, you know, if I can get them off my hands, get them trade and whatnot. I just have a good time, and I'm actually going to do a video, or videos, uh, maybe, it might be one or two videos, but it's going to be a video just talking about what happens there. So, that's Southeast Game Exchange. Should be, you know, first time I'll be going, so it should be a fun time. So, that's really about it with this update to the channel. Um, not a whole lot to discuss that I just, just discussed for how long? 20 some minutes. A little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. But um, that's just my boring boring little channel updates for my YouTube channel. Um, and, you know, I would love to upload a lot more, but having a full-time job, having chores, responsibilities, you know, it, it life. It's just life. And, um, at the end of the day, this is all just hobbies. This is stuff I just do in my free, free, spare time. My free, free, spare, spare time. So, uh, this has been Dishon Pal. Uh, a boring little vlog, I guess. And, um, catch you all later. And remember, brush your teeth and fight that gingivitis.